Now, we've looked forward to um, the Lord's answer to, to, to Job. Um, if Job's complaint is that uh, Yahweh is as out of control of the natural world as he is of the moral world, what does, uh, what does God say when he finally speaks after 37 chapters of rancorous argument? Well, he beckons Job to his feet and he takes him to the moment of creation of a world. Um, where were you? Were you there when I laid the foundations of the earth? It's a question. And it launches 163, I think I counted, verses. It's a poem about creation, every verse of which is a question. A question about the physical and natural world. Meteorology, the uh, winds, the storm, the lightning, about the stars, questions about living things, we now call zoology, questions about the structure of the foundations of the earth, question, areas we now call geology. Um, and these are creative, open-ended questions. Let's visit a couple. Can you bind the cluster of the Pleiades or loose Orion's belt? The writer of the book has noticed that there's a little cluster of stars in the winter sky that are obviously linked together. Well, the point is that the, these answers are impossible, questions are impossible to answer then or immediately. But remember the long, painful history of science? That doesn't mean that given the humans created in the image of God ability to understand the natural world that we can't. But questions are absolutely central in negotiating this relationship with the physical world in the biblical tradition. And that's true of science today. Sometimes I find myself advising the new research students, new PhD students in my group in Durham, saying you've had a wonderful time getting here. And you've gotten here by being really good at finding all the answers to the questions we set you, the answers that are in the back of the examiner's crib. But now all that is going to be completely useless to you. And that to be a creative scientist, your role is to imagine, to conceive the creative question. Amazing, very interesting, the centrality of the, of the, centrality of the question in the biblical tradition. Again, Einstein um, was fond of, of, of saying that if he got a bit further than other people, it wasn't characteristically um, humble of him because he was particularly clever. It was because he affirmed that he spent far more time chewing over the questions before attempting an answer than most other people. Heisenberg, too, said this, uh, one of the progenitors of quantum mechanics. Uh, uh, he said that um, the, the central task of, of science uh, is to conceive of the creative question. And once done that, um, the answers almost look after themselves.